Welcome to the Straight Razor Edge Friday Special. Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's Straight Razor Edge Friday Special, how to clean dry and store your straight razor after shaving. YouTuber Trunker Dixon asked, for your next Friday Edge special, can I suggest a small look at how you maintain your razor after you have finished shaving? And YouTuber Tabelli asked, maybe you could show how you clean, dry, and store your straight razors. There are two types of steel. There is carbon steel and it will stain and rust. It's just the nature of the steel. All right. There is also stainless steel. Now stainless steel will also stain and rust as well, but it resists staining and rusting more vigorously than the carbon steel. However, it will still stain and rust. All right. Now, my seven-step process begins during the shave, all right? So, number one, you want to wash off your blade from here down with hot water, okay? From here down. And for me, I put it in the sink. If you want to rinse it off, you could do that as well. However, I never get the pivot pin wet. I never get the scales or the handle wet. Okay, I don't even get from here up wet. I only get from here down wet. All right, that is key. You don't ever want to get water in that hinge pin. Number two, you want to wipe that blade clean. So I normally just pinch it and wipe it clean like this in the towel. Okay, now you could also use tissue paper, all right? And it's done exactly the same way. You're just cleaning it off. You're going to take that extra soap residue right off of that razor, all right? So those are the first two steps, and those two steps happen during the shave. All right, step three. We're going to do the final rinse on this blade from here down, okay? And we're going to rinse it off I normally just put it in the sink and I shake it, all right? But from here down, it's all I get wet. And if you are gonna rinse it off under the tap, again, from here down, get wet. Do not get that pivot pin wet. Don't get from here up wet. I don't get the scales or the handle wet. None of that gets wet when I'm cleaning my razors. Now, step four. We're going to take a towel, in my case, I take a towel and I will pinch it like that and I will make sure it's nice and clean and dry. I'll go ahead and get under here, I'll get the spine, I'll get the nose, okay, and I'll, I'll just make sure that's nice and dry. Now, I don't have to worry about the pivot pin, okay, or the rest of it, because I never got it wet. Now, what you could do, you could also use a tissue, and again, I would just pinch that, and run it from the heel to the toe, just be very careful of that edge, because it will cut you. Then, I would get in here like this, on those jibbings, get that spine, and get the end where the nose is. Step five, if you need it, you could actually take this and blow dry it, okay? If you have a blow dryer, you could blow dry it and take it that extra step, all right? And make sure it's nice and dry. Step six, I protect my straight razor by applying a coat of protective wax, which I make from sunflower oil, beeswax, and a few essential oils, which make it astringent, antiseptic, 
and it sterilizes the blade and prevents rust. So all I do is I reach in there and get about that much. Yeah, about like that. Okay. And then I will put some on each side of this blade like this. Okay. Then I will be very careful with this edge. Okay. I will go ahead and rub that and then I'm going to pinch it toward the edge. All right. And then I get in here, I get the jibbings. All right. I'm going to get the spine, get the nose. All right. I'm going to get the tang. All of that gets covered with this wax. And then I go ahead and get that blade again. I look at it. And as you can see, it is completely covered. All right. And that will do it. That will totally take care of this and keep you protected. And like I say, it's astringent, antiseptic. So it sterilizes the blade as well. Step seven. Then I would take this straight razor, which is totally dry, totally protected with my wax. And I would store it outside of the shaved in. Okay. And it will be good. Or you could store it in a Ziploc bag at this stage because it's completely dry. So you could put it in here like this. Okay. Roll that little dude up. Seal it in a Ziploc baggie. And now this is good to go. This is not going to ever have a problem. Okay. No rust, no stain, totally protected. And this is airtight, watertight, good to go. Question of the day. How do you clean, dry, and store your straight razor after shaving? And did I miss an 8, 9, and 10? Let me know down in the comments how you do it. Hopefully you found this helpful. You can click right up here to see the best how-to shave video you've ever seen. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much for stopping by for the Straight Razor Edge Friday special. You can click right over here to see my latest video. Click down here on video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.